It's another Monday morning and we're on week 12 of the Dinner Girl Diaries. I really hope you guys are enjoying this so far. Oh. <laughs> Today I'm on a hen die again, back where I was last week, moving the rest of this pile of stuff, finding somewhere to put it. We've got Mount Plaque coming to have a look at the breaker this morning. He reckons he can fix it on site, so fingers crossed from that. I've actually got a meeting very very soon I got a reminder about it there so I need to jump on and do it from the cab it's not quite the office but it's gonna have to do today because I forgot about it what I'm doing here now is taking all the soil off and casting it over here out the way stay at that window need to clean ah! bloody spider webs this is how the yard's looking so far there's going to be a big shed going here as well. Um, it's going to come from that end and the doors are going to be at this end. Um, the way it's going to be like that is because the wind comes from this side and this side. So it's more sheltered to have the doors to the shed at this side. Um, so the idea is that they come down this road and can get round with their lorries and whatever else they need to get into the into the shed. Um, it's looking well though. There's all that room there. And then there will, there will be a house site up the top here eventually as well. That was my meeting done, all went well. Had my lunch, tuna pasta, protein yoghurt. So far so good. I've got the gym later on tonight. But just now, I've just tracked up and put the breaker there for the guy coming. I'm going to track back down and get the bucket on and hopefully Fraser will be here soon. Just like that, here comes Fraser from Mount Plant. So let's hope he gets his breaker out fixed. Well, that's the breaker away. I was going to film it all, but I always ask first if people like getting filmed and I prefer not to. So that's totally fine. I understand that. So I didn't get any footage of it for you guys. But what it is, is one of the bolts. So we took off the saddle and the straight away there's one bolt that had came off now he could, probably could have fixed it there and then but he likes to do things properly so instead of just slamming it on there and then the other three might have came loose or cracked or something setting it back down and it'll all be done properly and he'll take a look through the whole hammer for us we don't know rush for it like I'd be nice to crack on here if we did want to crack on here we do have our other hammer which I showed you was at the house what you can use, we can use on our 8 ton and our 13 ton machine so we're not really going to miss it, I'll be back with us probably next week so for tomorrow I will be back on my 8 ton Kubota which I'm delighted about I've got to finish a job at the farm which I left just before Con Expo I think and then I'll be in the lorry, like it's a 2 minute job and I'll be picking it up and shifting it along the road to another site that I do not have a clue what I'm doing so I'm hoping actually Dad will be there or thereabouts tomorrow to show me what I'm doing or somebody's going to be there to show me what to do because I actually don't know what it, what it is. So for tonight I'm going to go to the gym. I'm going to take you guys tonight. Get a few wee clips in of um, me trying to lift some heavy stuff. When you're lifting drums of diesel and it starts to get difficult that means my strength's going down. So that's like it's things like that like I can be doing something I'm like geez I'm getting a uh, I'm getting weak now I need to get my guns back up and pumping. Just make sure I've got everything out of this machine for tomorrow. My lip gloss. Dipper's bed. I think that's me. I just watched that video back. I've been bit by something on my face. Look at that. Surely it's not midges already. Please, please be no midges already. It's Tuesday morning and I am in the Scania today. This morning I'm going to go and shift some machines. So yeah, just come with me and see what today brings. What a miserable day back to the skins and the lovely west coast weather. Hopefully the old girl will start alright, it's been sitting for a while. Fingers crossed.
the moment of truth. The wiring is so dodgy in here. It needs, I don't know if you can see the lights flickering on and off. But it's alright. If there's a will, there's a way. What I'm going to do now, I don't recommend doing it unless you know what you're going to do. I can't even see what I'm going to do. What I'm going to do here is just override the star, basically. Don't try this at home. You didn't see that here. When I'm putting the dump on myself, I prefer to reverse on only because I feel like you can get better vision when you're looking over the back as to where the wheel position is on the lorry. Rather than going head forward, you can't really see anything and it's kind of a guessing game. So this is why I do it um, reversing on. That's me all. Loaded up and ready to go. I'm only going like 20 minutes along the road. So, eh, uh, look at the state of that. The absolute joys of this weather. Before I head to the next site with this dump part, I'm just going to jump out at the 143 quickly. It's really getting to me now how, how we have no one to fix it. So, one of my pals has asked me to send him photos through to see if he can send them on to see if we can get someone um, to fix it. I get it, everyone's just busy and everyone's wanting things done. Hopefully someone can help me out. That goes the same for you guys. If you guys know anyone or are interested in helping a gal out, comment below. So the actual lorry itself is running absolutely fine. Touch wood, fingers crossed, because it has been sitting for quite a while. It's the beaver tail to get welded on, all the airlines get ran back and put together, and of course the new body get put on and all the other wee, wee fiddly bits basically. Kind of wishing now we just put it back to unit, but the reason we bought it was because it was a six wheel beaver tail and that's what we use. But after all this work, I don't think I'll be wanting to put anything on the back of it to be honest. Job done, let's go and get this machine delivered. I don't know fully really where I'm actually going along here, so let's hope I deliver it to the right place. Man, it's tight. That's what I've got to go down there, I think. I'm just going to stop here just now and make sure this is the right place I'm going before I reverse down someone else's driveway. I don't think there's any hope getting it down where they're going to go. The fence is too tight for me to get round. It'd be like the tail swing's going to end up clipping the fence. I'm just going to quickly take it off on the road and hope nothing big comes. Can't record this bit because I'm going to have to be super quick. Well, that was stressful. The dumper conked out when I just got it off the ramp sitting on the road. It wasn't ideal. Uh, I panicked straight away, but I um, I just managed to get it going again. I know it's running out of fuel, so that's possibly why. I should have just took it to the garage to fill up. <laughs> but anyway, it's off we got there. I did panic. And to make it even worse, I could have pulled in the next junction, because I know the people who live there, and I could have just tracked that they own the field anyway. I could have just put it across the field. So that's what I'll be doing with my digger when I go and pick my digger up. But first I've got to go and get my digger and do a 10 minute job along here. So let's go. There she is. Long time no see. Let's go get loaded up. That's me all loaded up, chained down, strapped down, stabiliser up, ramps up, all that kind of stuff. So I'll go, go along the road, five minutes, and clean out a culvert. Now that is annoying having to shift, load all the machine up just to take it along the road, five minutes. But at the end of the day, 
it doesn't bother me that much because the, the state we're working for gives us so much work and has done for the last 30 years. He's already just said to me there, can you book your dad in for another week in May for doing a hill track that dad's been doing every year, doing a wee bit more every year for them. So I said to him, I'll see you the end of April to make sure dad is there on time. <laughs> Also, we're doing the water track right through their land as well, so they're decent enough people, so don't mind doing it for them. But um, let's go along and get it all off again and get the two-minute job done for them. You can see all the water coming down the field here, so I'm going to be having to dig over the fence and dig a new ditch down there. I'll probably have to do a shuck on this side, see if I can catch it all. Ideally, I'd like to catch it all on that side of the fence, but we'll see what we do. We can do it. There's also a phone cable up there, and you can see just through there. So I'll have to be very careful of where I'm digging over that side. The mess with all the water coming through already. Ah well, there's no point in rushing now, I just had to run right across the field there to put the ramps up to shift the lorry because one of McNaughton's lorries were there. But it's my own fault for just chance my luck thinking that no lorries would come. But it's fine. I guess up here we all know each other and understand there's very rarely you're gonna get somebody actually getting agitated and getting on at you so Let's just dawdle back over to the machine and get this ditch finished. Let's get it back on. Job done. Let's get to the final job of the day and we're just going to be getting dropped off for a while. Next question is, um, where do I get turned along here? I'm hoping I don't have to go to like the end of the road, but I've got a feeling I'm going to have to. It's a bit sketchy, but... Oh! i done it! <laughs> Let's get this tipped. There we are, job done, all machines moved and where they should be. That is me, done for the day, card out, lorry off. I need to get the bat, bat done as well, I need to get into the office at some point before the end of the month, when is the end of the month? A couple more days right? Probably leave it till Friday's too late so I don't know when I'll, um, when I'll get in. Yeah. See you guys tomorrow. I said that that was me done and you'd see me tomorrow, but I'm actually going to clean out this pickup. It's absolutely disgusting inside here. I'm a wee bit embarrassed to show you, but you know what? It's a reality. It's not been done since probably the end of last year, so um, it's badly needed and done. In this pickup, there's loads of nonsense I don't need anymore. I just want to clear it out and get my blue box put back in for my diesel, for the drums so they don't slide about. Pickups are the worst thing ever for having things sliding about if they're not tied down, but Dad's He's made a wee makeshift thing in his pickup to keep everything stored away. It doesn't look the part, but it works the part. I've got this blue box I'm putting back in. It's obviously homemade. I really want drawers at some point, but just not. This will just have to do just now. To be fair, the reason it was out though is because I had to put pipe in it. So, just I feel like they're just a nonsense for getting anything in and out, and then your knees are sore as well when you're jumping in and out with them. So get this all tidied up. It'll make me feel a bit better because I hate even opening the back doors of it now because it's just such a shambles. Job done. See you tomorrow. It's Wednesday morning and I'm in office this morning, which I'm actually not bothered about. I'm going to probably take the whole of today in the office because I've got so much things to do and so much to catch up on. I was going to leave it till Friday, but then I'd be kind of pushing it late for the vet returns. So I thought I'd come in today to do it. And I can't believe we're at the end of March already and it's that time of the month to get this sorted. Like this year is just flying past. I don't know if you guys think it, but it's crazy. I'm going to give this office a bit of a tidy. This is an office, but it's also the up parts department. It's our, we've got a laser here. <laughs> Overalls, boots, filters, you name it, it's all in here. So I need to give it a wee tidy up. I've got my own stuff and my dad's stuff to do, but I'm going to get through all dad's stuff in the first couple hours and then I'll spend maybe an hour at the end doing my stuff, seeing it as dad's time and not my time. It's Thursday and I am starting a new job today. So I've just arrived here to see what I'm going to be doing. I'm just going to meet with a customer and he'll talk me around it. But I need to fill that dumper up with diesel because Tuesday I got it off and when it conked out I got it going on fumes and prayers I think. So I'm going to put some diesel on this. 
unlike the digger, the dumper doesn't have a hose or a pump to suck it in, so I'm going to have to put this in myself, which I struggle with so much, lifting the big drum up here when I'm so small. So, watch me struggle. Now, what I tend to do, because I'm such a short bum, is stand in one. So, my God, it's so high up. Here we are. Honestly, I miss not having a pump and a hose so much doing this stuff. Actually, the wee step ladder, that would be ideal. Job done. Now the easy part, the digger with the hose. Job done. Let's get her fired up and get stuck into this job now. So the guy we're doing work for, I just met him there, he's a lovely guy, sound enough. He made a comment to me saying, oh the boss should be here, your dad should be here. And I was just like, well, it's your lucky day because you got the better operator. So what this job is, is getting rid of that stone, what used to be a dike along there. Um, you might see some big roots in amongst it. So it's all the way along there and round there. So I'm going to put the stones to one side just now and get these roots ripped up. I want to make as less as mess possible as it is part of their lawn on each side. So I will be ripping it all up and then tidying it all off at the end. The stumps are going in the dump part and getting dumped down the back to rot away. This stump is absolutely massive. Look at the size of the roots on it. I hope I manage to get it out. Well, I'll get it, but I just don't know how hard. Like, the roots actually go way over to here. Wish me luck. Well, look at that monster I've got to get out on a Friday morning. We're on a Friday and I forgot my cap. Oh, the sun's gonna annoy me today. Not that I'm complaining, but it is annoying when you're trying to operate and that's at right at your eye level. Anyway, today's a very special day for me today actually because one year ago today, I started up my own company, The Digger Girl. Last night I was reflecting on all the good times I've had in the year. I really am grateful for every opportunity I've been given with brands, with all you followers, everyone coming up to see me, everyone supporting me, like, I am very lucky. So, hopefully there's many more years of it to come, but tonight I'm gonna to go out with my girls for some dinner to celebrate. That being said, I do need to finish this job today, I just went away on holiday next week, and if I don't finish it today, it will be a Saturday shift, which I don't want to do. So, what I'm gonna do first is turn it around, open the claw wide up like that, wise it can go, then I'm going to get it ready for knocking hoses off. Now because I am small, I'm going to have to tuck it right round and obviously the claw has to be open because the hydraulics will not work as soon as I take these hoses off. So I'll cuddle it right round like that and turn it off. Then turn the ignition back on, I'm going to be releasing pressure so roll all the rollers, the front ones and the ones behind and same on this side and the one behind there too. Now that's releasing all the pressure in the two hoses there. And then I'm going to grab the key and this is how you get it off. You can't get it off without putting this back in the electronics. So knock the hoses off is just the same as knocking any ordinary hoses off. One off, two. Now that's the hoses knocked off, 
this is where this key comes into it. So what I'm doing here is knocking off all the electronics to the rotary tilt. Now this has not been off in ages, so hopefully it comes off okay. Oh. Just pull it up and you'll see it like that. Now this, the reason they've got this on is um, basically for people when they go to drop the, the one bucket, they end up dropping the whole hitch on the floor. When my dad first started using it, he was trying to knock off the full hitch by pressing the wrong button in the cab and I'll show you how. So I'm just keeping that dry just now till I show you this one. So it's exactly the same, it's just like a dead end basically. Pushing it up and clipping it in like that. And then, so I don't lose this end, and so this end doesn't get damaged. I'll just put this back on. Like that. And that'll keep it all dry and safe. Now let's get this hitch dropped off. So you'll see here, this is the one to swap the buckets daily, all the time. And this is the hitch here to drop the whole rotor till. So all I do when I'm doing a bucket normally is hit the green one there and then go around to this rotor tilt button here and hit that one. And that hitch is for knocking off the buckets alone. Now if I'm going to knock off the full hitch, it's this original one here. Yes, it's not a hill hitch what's on it, but the, it was connected up to the, the one that was already here. Um, so that's what I'm using. Now when Dad first started using it, he kept going to that one to take off the buckets and it wasn't working because he hadn't taken the electronics out, thankfully, because if not he'd have dropped the whole thing, but he just didn't know that there was two, two buttons until I talked him through it. So it's very simple and effective way so you don't drop it all. So after you've done all that, you're just going to drop it essentially like a normal attachment from this point. So yeah, all I'm doing here is curling it round. Going back to this switch here, the one on the window that I showed you, and releasing that off. I'll swing the hoses out the back. You'll see up here it's now pointing, machine coupler is open. There's a red indicator on the hitch itself that pops up to let you know that it's not in place. Then all I do is drop it off. very carefully like that and then from that I can just go straight to picking up my normal bucket and it's just back to a normal hitch hitch off, I'll lock back in place and then that will go back off itself tell me it is locked Shake test, pressure test, it's all locked in. And there it is just dropped off. You'll see why it's sunk totally into grass because it's soft here. But you'll see why I put the claw out now because now, now it is resting back on the claws even though it's sunk down instead of left, resting back on all this bit up here. I would have tipped right over. So that's the way I've been taught to do it and it does make sense. So now when I go to pick it up, it'll be nice and easy just to pick it up from the top rather than clamber over the back. Now to get used to this machine with no hitch, I can guarantee all day I'll be going for them, um, for them rollers and trying to get it turning. here how um, I'm using the bucket to turn it around more than going like this. If I'm going like that, you're just fighting against the different boom. If you manage to put the bucket down on the ground and curl it round, there's actually more power in it back like that than trying to rip it forward from the stump. If you go like this, you're literally wasting your time and hammering hell out of the machine as well. Smell some stone stuck down there. I'll try and get them stones. That 
that's how I'll lift from the ground. Now I'm just going to go back to this side, put the blade in front, put the blade down for extra support when lifting it up because it's going to be a heavy, heavy stuff for, for my little eight ton machine here. Now I've got the stump out like that, what I like to do is shake it and scrape off all the extra earth and um, there's no point dumping that so basically it's just the route that I'm going to be taking away with me. smaller after you knock the excess stones and soil and earth off it. I'm going to fill in this hole with the stones and that were around here and then move on to the next stump but you get the gist of it right. Some of the roots are going to be too big to put in the dumper and or to lift so I'm just going to have to go at this with the dump, uh, the blade and the bucket and move them along. I'll jump out so you can see the setup. As you can see the bucket is just off the ground so the blade and so is the root. But with the blade there, it works. It works pretty well. That's all the roots out. A big pile of them here. I think there was about 16 in total, roughly. There was a couple that were rotten and made it a bit easier, but the rest were pretty tough going. Now I'm just going to get a dumper and load which other ones I can. Which ones I can get in the dumper, I put in the dumper, and the ones that I can, I'll just drag them what I just done there. And then the fun part of tidying up. My favourite part. all the roots there now. Now back to get the stones. To be honest I could probably put the um, road tilt back on now. I'm not a heavy digger or anything. I'm just kind of getting used to using the bucket again. So I'll put the road tilt back on to finish the rest. Just while this machine's cooling down a bit. This is actually the old style um, system. Rototil do have a quick oil now. So if you've got that system, basically you don't have to jump out and put the hoses off. It does it all sitting in the cab. I'm just not posh enough to have one yet and I've still got the old style. Which is fine, it still works for all the time I have to take it off, but a wee upgrade would be nice. There's still some pressure in it. This is where it would be a lot easier if it was um, quick oil. We have to start messing with hoses. <laughs> Put the rototilt in the bin. So if like that I can get the rototilt on or any, any attachment at all if I don't, I don't try and push myself or struggle too hard if sometimes I just can't get the pressure off. So what I do is this. Get my one and only safety tool that is basically a key to me. And all I'm doing here is going to loosen off this one here. There we go. So you just actually have to crack it. The most littlest bit. Now this should just go on, no bother now. Famous last words. There we are. And while I'm here, I'll swap the, this bit over, back in. Put 
back on, put that in my pocket so it's somewhere safe. And then just back to tying up this bit again. Always have to remember to tighten them up if you loosen them off. It's so simple, I don't see myself struggling. It takes me two seconds just to jump out and do that instead of hurting myself trying to put a hose on. There we are. Job done. Now the fun part of tidying up. Saturday morning and I've just came out to work to finish off the job that I didn't finish yesterday. I wanted to finish it off before I go on holiday. When I arrived out, the people are that happy with my work, they want me to do more and they're scared if I put the machine away that they'll never get us back because we are so busy. So I've just asked them if it's okay if I park, uh, finish a section and then I'll um, park my machine up here and leave it on here on site. I know it's going to be safe here, it's right next to the house while I go on holiday. And they're happy enough with that because they know that I will be back to do the, re the next bit of the work for them. I'm also feeling absolutely terrible. I've got pretty sure I've got tons of lies. I've been on the phone to NHS 24 all morning to try and get some antibiotic or something to clean it up. So I'm feeling absolutely miserable. But the show must go on because I need to get this thing tied up before I go on holiday. It's good though to be able to show you the end result of it all too. So yeah, here's the finished job. I must say it's pretty pretty different from what it was when we first started. And here it is from another angle. You can see the difference of it. Now that'll leave them to make up their mind what they're gonna do. I think they're talking about putting a hedge in, so nice base for them. And that is my week over and done with, thankfully. As always, thank you for subscribing, thanks for the comments, thanks for the likes, and thank you for the support. Support, I still can't say that word. <laughs> See you next week. Oh my god, these gloves are so big for me. Then the fun part. I just get out of this cab.